Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yasirli amri, wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu qawli, Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. We'll again <coughs> continue uh, and revise a little bit from what we left yesterday. Brothers and sisters, I wrote down those two words, Arab. Huh? And then I wrote down in English. In other words, the Arab has two meanings. When you say Iraq, it can mean the declension of the noun. Huh? Are you with me? Because the noun will tell us what kind of function it is performing huh? by giving us a clue at the end of it. The vowel sign will give us a clue. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The noun will tell us by its ending what kind of a function it is performing. That is also called Yerab. And another meaning of Yerab is that you do grammatical analysis of a sentence, word by word, you know, to analyze a sentence and to show the function of each word in a sentence. Huh? That is also called Yerab. In English, we will, call, we will say normally grammatical analysis. Huh? That also means Yerab. And the other meaning of Yerab is the, the word changing its ending. Dun, dan, din. <clears throat> no, brothers and sisters, this is very easy. <clears throat> if you can just repeat after me each thing three times. Alamatu rafahi dammatun mukaddara. Alamatu rafahi dammatun mukaddara. Alamatu rafa ihi dammatun mukaddara. Or zahira. Huh? Next one. Alamatu nasbihi fatahatul mukaddara. Alamatu nasbihi fatahatul mukaddara. Next one. Alamatu jarrihi kasratul mukaddara. Alamatu jarrihi kasratul mukaddara. One more time. Alamatu jarrihi kasratul mukaddara. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. Where is Muptada? Alamatu. Wahuwa mudaf. Rafa'i mudafilihi. Wahuwa mudaf. And he mudafilihi. Where is the khabar? Dhammatu. So it's very simple. Huh? So <clears throat> once you have this thing in your mind, you can analyze and write these things with ease and comfort. It's not difficult. Huh? And these are the terms we will be using. And they are very easy, brothers and sisters. Huh? 
with little practice, it will become part of your vocabulary, inshallah. Now, we did mankus, remember? Do you have anything else to discuss on mankus, or you have understood it very well? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Or maybe I should start one more time. Huh? Mankus. Huh? These are the nouns at the end of which there is a mandatory ya. Huh? And before ya, what is there? Kasra. That is another condition. Ya at the end and before ya, a kasra. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. So I gave you an example. I'll give you one more time. Kada Yakdi and then if we make isam fa'il it will be ka di yun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now there is a ya at the end, which is compulsory because ya is the part of the verb. Okay? Now before that there is a kasra. So what happens, brothers and sisters, that <coughs> this is dropped, ya is dropped, and we give extra kasra as a compensation. So it became ka den. <coughs> Remember, ya is dropped. But when you make it a definite, then it will become al Kati. Are you with me? Right. Now, when you make this, brothers and sisters, ka, then if you make this mansu, then ya will open up. Ka, di, yan. Now, these are the rules we must remember. Huh? When will the ya become visible in mankus? When? Number one, when it becomes definite. When it becomes definite. Are you with me? With that? Number two, when it is mansoop. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number three, when it becomes mudav. Okay? Kadi of Makkah. Kadi of Makkah. So, how would you write down Kadi? Now, Yah will come out. And Makkata. Kadin now became. Kadi. Huh? So these are the three things, inshallah, you will make a note of it. Brothers and sisters, I tell you one more thing, that <clears throat> the key of book three in English, which Dr. Saab has written, is the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. It has got so much information in it, brothers and sisters, so much information in it uh, <clears throat> that it can become an extremely important tool for understanding book, book three. I had an opportunity to teach uh, a non-Muslim uh, Arabic course. <clears throat> he wanted to learn an Arabic language. He's a priest, brothers and sisters. And he's a Catholic, huh? a very, very pious man. Uh, he knew several languages, English, French, Latin, Spanish, Filipino, had been all over the world. He was born in Canada, a very pious man, and he wanted to learn Arabic. So somehow he was directed to me, and I said, okay, if he is interested, inshallah, we will show him the you know, a uh, little bit of Arabic language. So he started to learn to read and write. Uh, and then uh, he used to come twice a week.
to me. And uh, mashallah, he was selling smoothly through the book. Because he had a good idea of the grammar of French and English and Spanish. So at the end of the course, I told him, uh, Brother David, how did you find the Arabic? Isn't it easy to learn? What was his answer, brothers and sisters? That answer I will never forget. Had it not been for the keys that Dr. Abdarim has written, I would have found Arabic language very difficult. Uh, because of the key, he found it very easy. So he would read the key and come to me. And after our lessons, go back and uh, read the key. So this made him understand the concept with ease. And brothers and sisters, you know, whenever I teach Master Mawal, I'm myself a little bit uneasy because it's a concept uh, that uh, we uh, take a little longer to understand. But he understood in 10 seconds. Why? Because he knew the English grammar. He knew what infinitive was, what gerund was. So when you relate Master Mu'awal to infinitive and gerund, it's very easy. He understood it right away, what it really meant. So read the key as much as possible, brothers and sisters. Keep the key next to you, especially for book three. Huh? Before you go to bed, maybe you can read a page or two. Before you come to the class, read page or two. It will help you to understand the concept very well. And all these things are mentioned there, which I have written on the board. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> so, when the kadin, brothers and sisters, okay, is marfu, we say, we say, alamatu uh, rafahi adamatul mukaddara. But that will be for kadi. Huh? Because you can see the ya. And then, if it is uh, majroor, it will still remain in the same form. And then you will say, alamatu jarrihi kasratun mukaddara. Okay. Now, when it is uh, mansub, then it will be alamatu nasbihi fatahtu zahir. Now, when you come to ka, then, then what will you do? It is written in the book. It is there in the book. And I want to show you, and you keep your highlighters handy, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Are you comfortable with this sentence, brothers and sisters? What is al-mankusu? It is a ism. Declinable. Allazi akhiruhu yaun lazimatu. At the end of it, there is a mandatory ya or original ya. Why we do we, we can say original ya? Because it is part of the verb. Sahi. Kada yakdi. The ya is part of it. Original. Are you with me? Hmm? It's original. Because these things you will read in the key. Original ya. Why original ya? Because it is part of the verb. Okay? <clears throat> and then, before it, maksurun ma kablaha. There is a kasra before ya. That is the sign of mankus. Okay? Fine. And then these are the example. Huh? Then we have a sentence. سأل القاضي المحامي عن الجاني تقول you say في إرابي هذه الكلمات what you say brothers and sisters القاضي فاعل مرفوع علامة رفعه دامة وكذا now sometimes people write like this also, brothers and sisters.
What did I write down? Allah akhirihi means at the end of it. Huh? If you want, you can add it. Huh? So you will say, Fa'ilun marfu'un alamatu rafa'ihi dammatun muqaddaratun ala akhirihi. You can say if you want to, but if you don't want to write it, it's perfectly all right. Dr. Abdurrahim did not write, but I have seen in other places sometimes people write it, you know. But it's easy, and it makes sense, you know. al muhamiya see, when the mankus is mansub, then you see uh, the alamat in front of you, right in front of your eyes. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatun nasbihi fatahatun zahiratun. Okay. Al-jani majrurun bi'an. Alamatu jarrihi kasratun mukaddara. Got the idea, brothers? Very good. Now we come to the next page. Page number 10. Kad yakunu. Brothers and sisters, make a note of it here. We are going to study later on. When kad comes with fi'al mahdi, it means the action has been done, complete. If I say, Aina Hamidun, you can say, Zahaba ila suki. What is the meaning of that? He returned. He returned. If I say, Kad Zahaba ila suki, then, Kad, he has gone. Are you with me? So, when it, Kad comes with Mahdi, it's called Harfu Tahkik, for certainty. Harfu Tahkik. Huh? Okay, I'll write down, brothers and sisters. Kad is called Harfu Tahkikin. Remember, Tahkikin. Tahkikun. Can you figure out? Tah. Kun. Here it is kin, but I am not because it is mudafili. Otherwise, what kind of a word is this? Tafa hilun, mashallah, brother Abdul Samad, excellent. That's the way we, you know, try to figure out. So, what is the verb then? Hakkaka, excellent, sister Hafsa. Hakkaka. So our mind will start to work. Hakkaka. You hakkiku. Inshallah. Excellent. Fine, brothers and sisters. But when it comes with mudariya, then, brother, the translation is, brothers and sisters, the translation is maybe. Maybe. It is possible. Then we will say it is possible or maybe. So here comes wakad. Yakunul manku su. So maybe the, you know, mankus is maydu fal yai. What is the meaning of this man? Drop of the ya. So when will be that situation, Sister Mamuna? Kadin. So in ka, then the ya is dropped. Huh? So this is the meaning of it. Wakad yakunul mankusu. Mankusu is the ismu kana. Ismu yakuna. And where is the khabar yakuna? Mazu fa. Huh? If there is a, there is a fata there. Mazuful ya i. Mudah mudafili. Now, example. Zahaba kadin. Brothers and sisters. ذهب كادن إلى مهامن. In both cases, it is مذوف مذوف الياي. تقول في إيرابي هاتيني كلمة تيني كادن. This is to be highlighted, brother. Very important sentence. If you can. Memorize it, and it's easy to memorize it, brothers and sisters. 
Qadin fa'ilun marfu'un Alamatu raf'ihi Dhammatun Mukaddaratun Alal ya'il mahzufati huh? So this is what you have to say it Alal ya'il mahzufati You saw Badal uh, Abdul Samad? Badal Muki? Badal Hassan? Do you see? Uh, Badal, if you read few times uh, you will not realize that you have memorized it. It will come to you with ease. And inshallah, we'll be practicing. Huh? So, Muhammad, now this is Majroor. Majroorun bi ila. Alamatu jarrihi kasratun mukaddaratun. And where is that kasra? Alal yail mazufati. Got the idea? Highlight this also, brothers and sisters. Or write it, underline with pencil. I prefer highlight because when you are revising, it will stand out in front of you. Inshallah. Now we come to our favorite. What is our favorite, brothers and sisters? Ya Mutakallim. When Ya Mutakallim becomes Mudafilehi, you will not see the Dhamma. Or fatah, you will only see kasra. Huh? So how do you define it? Here is an example, example, beautiful example. Da, jaddi, hmm? ustazi, ma, zumala, i. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. So, jaddi, there is a yamutakallam. Ustazi, there is a yamutakallam. Zumalai, there's a ya mutakallim. Brother, ya only does one job. And what is that? To pull it down. <laughs> so now we got to figure out the air up. Fine, brothers and sisters. Da'a, what is da'a? Fialun madin. Fialun madin. What is jaddi? Fail. But fail is marfu. So what will you say? It's given there, huh? inshallah. It's given there. Fa'ilun, marfu'un, wa alamatu rafihi, dhammatul, mukaddaratul. Now you should write one extra sentence. Huh? You will write down this, brother. Ala ma kabla. See, Kabbalah came, then the next noun has to be Mudafilehi, Majru. So it became Ya'i, and then Muta Kalli Me. This you can add it. It will, it will be nice because it will remind you. Are you with me? Sister Abzal? Does it make sense? Uh, Brother Abdul Samad? Brother Hassan? Sister Madina? Uh, it makes sense. Huh? All these are small, small things, if you note it down, inshallah, it will make your understanding very strong. And one day when you will stand up and teach others, uh, you can refer to your notes and show them all these beautiful things, inshallah. Huh? So, so here we are. Jaddi, actually it is Jaddu. Remember it is Fa'il. So, Fa'ilun marfu'un alamatu raf'ihi dammatun muqaddaratun. And where is it? Alama kabla yai. So before ya mutakhalim. Are you with me? Now, Ustazi, brother, Da'a, my grandfather invited. Invited whom? Mafulun bihi, but you don't see fata. So what will you say? Mafulun bihi mansubun alamatun nas bihi fatatun mukaddaratun alama kabla yai mutakallim. This will be a common sentence, you know. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No zumalai ma'a zumalai. Okay? So here, brothers and sisters, 
you can uh, say mudafun ilayhi majroorun wa alamatu jarrihi kasratun mukaddaratun alama kabla yai mutakallim now some of the scholars of the grammar disagree they say no this is a kasra zahira because of ma but uh, you know we do not sit down and argue we just say okay maybe that scholar is also right but dr abdurahim has mentioned this so we carry on with his explanation that it is kasratun mukaddaratun are you with me brother and sister inshallah because you will see many things later on that in which it will be more uh, suitable more appropriate to say kasratun uh, mukaddaratun alama qabla ya'il mutakallim okay but this is done huh? uh, inshallah you understood it very well now we have a nice table in front of us alamatul hmm? irab al asliyati wal fariyati fil ism we are only now learning about noun later on we will be learning about verbs inshallah all these columns brothers and sisters hmm? Hmm? you keep the highlighters handy and pencil handy if you want to what is the first column al halatul arabiyatu what will you be the translation huh? the state of declension or you can say the declined state what will you write down the declined state or case ending both will be correct al halatul arabiyatu the declined state or case ending huh? al marfu and then under it alamatu rafi alamatu rafi huh? and then mansub and alamatu nasbi then majrur alamatu jarri fine amil ha huh, brother agent doer the agent huh? so sir if we say agent it's more uh, Uh, it, it is better uh, agent uh, that agent is doing the job huh? so here it is jaa and then rai tu but actually it is rai huh? ra and then sallam tu ala okay brothers and sisters in any case when you say raa file has to be there so rai tu the whole thing is agent as dr sahab has mentioned and sallam to allah now the first column after amil al ismu zu remember zu alamat al irab al asliyati means a noun which uh, contains the primary signs of ending huh? primary and secondary original huh? جاء الابناء what is the sign there original marfu damma okay fine and then next column is jama munas salim so what will you say ha huh? no manatu جاء ابناء و ha huh? wa what will you say wal bana Two. Uh, it is still original damma and then walidani now this is mufanna so here we have we have a, a noun which is a plural and then we have jama mun salim then we have musanna and then we have jama muzakkar salim and then we have mamnu min as-sarf and then asmaul khamsa 
See, so in all of this, what does the agent do? Huh? Marfu, but then what are the signs? Huh? Yes, no, no, we have to understand. Huh? We must know for sure that we understand these signs. So in, uh, in Abunau, it's primary ending. In Banatu, primary ending. Walidani, where is the sign of Marfu, sister Arifa? Walidani, it's Muthanna, al alif. Are you, are you with me? Says Hamza, it's alif. Now, we come to Jama Mudakkar Salim. Wal huh? Akrabuna. Write down Akrabuna. Akrabuna. Huh? This is your relatives. Huh? Jama Mudakkar Salim. So, what is the sign of Marfu there? Wow. Got the idea? Huh? Fine. Mamnu means serve. Of course, it is Dhamma. The Mamnu means serve. It's only when, when it is majroor that it takes a different sign. And a small khamsa, akhuhu. So akhu is your file. So what is the sign of its marfu? Wow. Is it clear, brother? If this is clear, alhamdulillah, then you have understood the whole lesson. Now comes the next column. Ra'aytu. Now we need mafulun bihi. Ra'aytu al-abna ah fata al-bana ti sister Menas now came banati Ra'aytu al-bana ti fine then 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 there's a kasra sahi so this is your secondary sign fine then walwali daini this is mansub so what is the sign of its nasab yeah, again it is secondary. You can say asliyatun and fara'iyatun. So this is fara'iyatun. What is the next one? Wal akra bina. Okay, brothers and sisters, what is the sign of mansub here? Yeah, you got jamam mudakar salim. And then Ibrahim ma, that is normal. And then akhahu al alif. See, these are the signs. Uh, when these nouns become mansu. Sister Mayanas, is it clear? It's very simple, brother. Everything now that we studied in the first 10 pages, now it is being brought to us in a chart form. Then majroor. Salam to Allah, al-abana i. And then kasra, normal. Al-bana ti. Kasra, normal. Then walwali daini. Now this is a secondary sign. Huh? And then wal akrabina. Again, ya, yeah, secondary sign. Now comes Ibrahim ma. Okay? So this is your fata. This is your secondary sign. Are you with me? And akhihi. Ya. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Yes. Ibrahima. Yes. Is secondary or is primary? Because secondary, brother. Because it is majroor. Oh, okay. Yes, Salim. Can you just analyze the complete one of those marfu, mansu, and majroor, like ya, uh, al-bina, uh, al-abna. Okay, let me do it quickly. Yeah. Okay, brother and sister. I'll be quick, huh? Okay. Ja al-abna'u. So what will you say, abna'u? Fa'ilun, marfu'un. وَعَلَامَةُ رَفَعِهِ أَدَّمَّتُ أَزَاهِرَتُ You can say. And then بَنَاتُ Same thing. And then وَلِدَانِ فَعَيْلٌ مَرْفُونٌ وَعَلَامَةُ رَفَعِهِ الْأَلِفُ لِأَنَّهُ مُسَنَّ الْمُسَنَّ We'll say الْمُسَنَّ Fine. And جَمَا مُذَكَرْ سَالَ فَعَيْلٌ مَرْفُونٌ وَعَلَامَةُ رَفَعِهِ الْوَاوُ لِأَنَّهُ جَمَا مُذَكَرْ سَالَ uh, Ibrahimu is normal. Fa'ilun marfuun wa alamatu rafihi ad-dammatu zahiratu. Sahi? It's normal. And akhuhu. Fa'ilun marfuun wa alamatu rafihi al-wahu. Li'annahu min al-asma'il khamsati. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, I think this, my reputation will put a dent in your hard drive. 
and, and, and get registered, huh? inshallah. So, brothers and sisters, see, some of you are already saying these things with me, which is excellent. And others will also catch up, inshallah. Huh? Fine. Ra'itu fi al-fail al-abna'a mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi fatatun zahiratun. And then, banati. Ha. Banati mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi kasratun zahiratun. Huh? Why? Kasratun. Liannahu jama monas salim. Got the idea, Badar Hassan? Inshallah. Now we come to walidaini. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al yaw. Liannahu mufanna. Very good. Akrabina. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al yaw. Liannahu jama mudakar salim. Fine. Ibrahim and normal. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi fatahatun zahiratun. Fine. Akhahu. Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al alifu. Liannahu min al asma al khamsa. Mashallah. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Now we come to salam to Allah. Abnai. That is normal. Akasra. Al banati. Normal kasra, then walwalidaini. Now this is ya here, huh? okay? Because it is musanna, and then wal akrabina. Then again it is ya, huh? jama muzakkasal, and then comes huh? salam to Allah Ibrahim ma why ma? It's mamnum himself, huh? and then salam to Allah akhihi. So then it is again, uh, Ya is your sign of it's being Majroor. So how will we say then, Abnai Ismun uh, Majroorun Bi Allah. You can say Bi Allah. Now we can say Bi Allah. Are you with me? It's Majroor with what? Because of what? Bi Allah. Huh? With Allah. Okay? Fine. Walamatu Jarrihi Kasratun. Zahirat. And then Banati, same thing. Alamatu Jarrihi, Kasratun, Zahirat. Then Walwalidaini, Alamatu Jarrihi, Al Yahu, Li Annahu, Musanna. Now, Madam Sister, Wa Akrabina, Alamatu Jarrihi, Al Yahu, Li Annahu, Jama Muzakasal. Now comes Ibrahim. So you will say, Majrurun. Bi ala wa alamatu jarrihi al fatah. Al fatah. Then what is fatah to? Why? Then we say li annahu mamnu min asarf. Because it is mamnu min sarf. You will say like that. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Okay. And wa akhihi majrurun bi ala wa alamatu jarrihi al yaw. لِأَنَّهُ مِنَ الْأَسْمَالِ خَمْسَ وَهُوَ مُدَافِ And then مُدَافِ uh, We can say وَهُوَ مُدَافِ in all of them أَخُوهُ أَخَاهُ and أَخِيهِ uh, Is it clear brothers and sisters? Inshallah Okay brother الْأَيْرَابُ الْتَقْدِيرِيُ uh, Estimated declension uh, Estimated declension it's not visible. Huh? But it is there. It is not visible. But it is there. Our mind can see, but our eyes cannot see. Huh? Same thing, brothers and sisters. Al Halatul Arabiya. State of case ending. Amil, same thing, brother. Al Mudafu. Ilayai Mutakalim. Then Mankus. And then Maksur. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. How will you say now? Ja'a. Sadiqi. What will you say, Sadiqi? Fa'ilun. Marfun. Wa alamatu rafaihi. Dammatun mukaddara. Alama kabla. Ya'il mutakallim. Wa huwa mudaf. Ya mutakallim. Mudafilhi. 
Then Al-Muhami. Here you will say, Fahilun, Marfun, Wa Alamatu Rafi, Ad-Dammatu, Mugaddara. Alas. You can say Ala Akhirihi if you want to. And then Must- Mustafa. Huh? In Maksura, all the three case endings are Mukaddara. So what will you say here? Mustafa? Brothers and sisters? Marfoon. Fa'ilun marfoon. Wa alamatu rafaihi. Dammatul Mukaddara. Khalas. Al-akhirihi if you want to say. At the end. Okay? 